<clears throat> All right, and we're gonna go up here. Oop, don't knock that over. All right, move all this out the way. Check my phone, close that. <laughs> okay, and... Okay, I'm actually kind of curious about something. Isn't this a new area? So that means I can go mining in a new place? <gasps> First thing, get a new whooper. Name it Good Boy. I want to trade it so someone else can have a good boy of their own. Yes. Edonize Gaming agrees. It is a new area! Well, I have to go exploring, chat. Oh, a bronzer. Why is there Baneri in the ice cave? This makes no sense. Why the fuck are there Baneri in an ice cave? There was no ice types there. Literally makes negative sense. Alright. Alright, game. You say so. Give me the goods, give me the goods, game. You know you want to give it to me. Also, did you find Rock Climb TM? It was nearby the Snow City. Yes, I did get the, uh... I did get the Rock Climb TM. Um... What is it? I got it from the, uh... What is it? I got it from the random hiker that was uh, there. Damn. Really? Really? Motherfucker. Wait, what is this? I don't even know what that. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What is that? A green sphere and a moonstone. Isn't that what I need to upgrade my Jigglypuff? Right? Well, first off, I want to see what's in here. Cause they have good stuff down here in these little caves. Oh, there's a Krigatot and a Geodude, a, Gr a Rhyhorn, a Psyduck, a Babarel, a Bidoof. A random guy who I'm way cooler than. Just saying. Just saying. Um, yeah. We're gonna go down. I'm back. Welcome back, real cheese. You've done too many excava excavations to enjoy them. Nice moonstone. Yeah, Jigglypluff. Uh, jig Jigglypluff. Jigglypluff. And Clefairy. You've done too many to enjoy them. I... I still enjoy them a little bit, but they're not the best. Um, did I mention that your second period teacher just made you play a game of tag for the rest of the semester? Yeah, even the halls ain't safe crap. <laughs> Alright then. That's interesting that a teacher would have you guys play a game of tag. That's, that's interesting to hear. I, I wouldn't think that a teacher would be wanting that to happen. But I mean, I, I guess schools and teachers do all do stuff differently, so fair enough. Let me go ahead and head back up. I kind of already got something I would like. You're finally getting Jedi Survivor? Well, I'm glad to hear. I'm glad you were able to, uh... I'm glad you were finally able to get Jedi Survivor. Because honestly, the game looked really fun, even though I don't... You know what every single game needs, no matter what genre? A fishing mini game? Duh. Come on now. Everyone knows that. A drop kick button? I mean, I guess that'd be helpful. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and evolve my Wigglytuff just for the sake of evolving them. 
because I don't want them to feel left behind. Because they were part of my team for quite a while. Here. Yeah, don't worry, we're not getting rid of Bob. We're simply giving Jigglypuff what she deserves. She would have been part of our team. But, we had other plans, sadly. Do, 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 do. Hold up, let me turn up my volume. There we go. Um, fuck it. Um, we got we kind of got bored. We have nothing to do because we finished all the work less than halfway through the semester. Damn, that does kind of sound awful. I won't lie. Like that sounds pretty fucking awful. <laughs> Finishing everything halfway through the semester. Competitive. See, that's that is pretty good because I do like the competitive. That's nice. Okay, I think I have it a little loud. Imagine having Magic Guard on a Steelix OP lol. That would be fucking OP. Oh my god, yes. Could you fucking imagine? That would be busted as hell. And... Wigglytuff. Yeah, we can catch a Wooper and name it Good Boy and give it to somebody. I think that's a fair start. I actually was watching a video talking about how uh, powerful Magic Guard was today. That was pretty interesting to see. There we go. That's a good sound level I wanted. Um, but yeah, I was watching a video talking about, uh... Where's the marsh? Yeah, it's here. Um, but I was watching some videos about Pokemon talking about how actually OP Arceus was and how o how overpowered like certain other Pokemon were. Like apparently Quagsire used to be extremely viable in like high-end Pokemon or something like that, and like competitive. And then a bunch of other Pokemon ended up being super powerful as well. So it was just interesting for me to hear all that. Wish Drop Kick was a Pokemon move for fighting types. I mean, High Jump Kick is basically Drop Kick. I mean, you de whatever you're kicking is getting dropped on their ass after you jump high up in the air and then kick them. So, I think that's fair. I've done too many WT and Brilliant Diamond for it to be fun. I'm talking in the hundreds, no cap. Oh, what do you mean by WT? Do you mean like the, uh, like the mining minigame? Because if that's what you're talking about, I think that's perfectly understandable. Because if you're doing that many, it can definitely get annoying. Like, very much so. Um, I feel like if I kept doing it over and over and over again, I'd probably get bored too. I will say for me though, I tend to switch things up with video games. I tend not to do Wonder Trade. Oh, Wonder Trade. I should have I should have figured that out the WT. Fuck, I'm such a dumbass. Um, yeah, I mean, wonder trades are interesting. They're not my favorite thing in the world. I think they're a really cool addition to Pokémon and they add a lot of they add a little bit of fun and spice to the game cuz you never really know what you're going to get. Like one it I think it's the perfect example of one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that's just that's just how it is. It's like, you know, what you would deem as pointless. Doing a lot of mining game is necessary to get the legendaries later, though. Well, why is it necessary to get the legendaries? What makes the uh, what makes the mining games uh, necessary? I forgot to fucking heal. God damn it. That's fine. Okay, Wooper, show yourself. Um, you know what? Amnesia. 
Um, hold up. Not to mit. Not to mention, one of the trades almost got my account deleted. Why is that? Why would the one of the trades almost get your account deleted? Let's do what I did in X. Get a fuck ton of level 100 shiny match cards. Name them. Get name them. Get mad and want to trade them. You need a certain amount of something rather from the mining game to access them. Oh, okay. I need, to, I need to catch a boy woo. I need to catch a whooper and name him good boy. Oh. Woo. Fuck. What I was hoping is I was hoping the whooper would hit me with water damage to heal my quagsire, but big sad. Big sad, it was not what I needed. Yeah, just a quick ball. Can't really go wrong with that. It was a level 100 perfect Ivy Torteri Torterra, shiny one. So I'm assuming that was hacked for sure. Like, pretty much guaranteed it was hacked. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, you deleted the mon before you get deleted. Uh, how quickly will the Pokemon game del uh screw you over for getting a hacked Pokemon? Do like do they only delete it whenever you play online, or do they delete your account like whenever you play like at all with a hacked Pokemon? Is there like a limit you can do, or is it simply just having it? There's so much fucking time breeding, hatching, um, leveling, and trading shiny Magikarp and X. Available for trades if you want something specific. Um, I would, Eternize. I actually do want to get uh, my Rhydon turned into a Rhyperior. But, we do not have the Protector yet, so we gotta, we gotta get further in the game. So once I get the Protector, I will... Uh, Full team Rotata can be be anything. Anything just having it will get your account fucked up. Damn. Okay. Um. Let's just because it's gonna go to wherever it fucking feels like. We're gonna go middle of the U.S. See if we actually trade the U.S. this time. Sounds like a plan. Let's see. Searching for a trainer to trade with. It's gonna throw me on some random... Really? Okay. That's the top of Oregon? Oregon. I think that's Oregon. I know my states. Possibly. Good boy smiley face is getting wonder traded for... A matchup! Nice. I think it's Ohio. Um... I don't think that's safe. You don't think what's safe? Oh, just ha just having the Pokemon. Yeah, having the just having the Pokemon probably isn't safe more than any more than anything. Um, that'll probably still get you messed up, I'm sure. Um, yeah, we can trade them a chop since we didn't really get anything interesting. We'll trade with the same guy. You don't think that's safe, Ohio? You don't think Ohio is safe? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not Ohio. Hold up, let me see. Grandma's text to me. Let's see. I'm like 80% sure that I'm like 90% sure that's not Ohio. Oh. Alright. Here we go. So we've got, yeah, that's, uh, I w we were both wrong. It's Washington. Or I was thinking, I was like, there is one state above Oregon, but I didn't know what it was in Washington. Yeah, Ohio is way farther east. Way farther east.
Not gonna lie, I want a Safari Zone and just caught a bunch of Mons to trade. I mean, that's fair. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna give someone else this Bronzong. Because I'm pretty sure I literally can't even use the Bastard. Ohio is wherever Ohio wants to be. It's like that one meme of Mr. Incredible. It's like everything is Ohio. Like one or two wonder trades. Trade every Pokemon stream. You're bound to get a legendary at some point. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, if I get a Giratina, that'd be pretty fucking hype. Giratina is a dope as fuck Pokemon. Ohio is inevitable. No, no, there is only room for one Cricketune on my team. All right. Fuck out of here. Take good care of Prigatoon. I will by immediately trading him back. Made in Ohio. So dumb. Um, we move this. Sorry, I just got a text message while this moves. Okay, there we go, and... And... There you go. Yeah, you know what? You're not Bob, alright? Get out of here. You're not Bob, and you never will be Bob. I'll have you know. Knocked out. Fair enough. Um, you should do a Wonder Trade just chatting stream. Just Wonder Trade Pokemon while talking about stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I just wonder traded one mon until I got something good, and then I just start wonder trading another mon. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I mean, so far, I've gotten pretty reasonable stuff. I've gotten an Anorith, which makes sense, a Lixie, the Shinx, which is, that's cute, Joy, the Happiny, which is cute, uh, Gibble the Gibble. I got a, uh, Jigglypuff. Um, I got a Charmander. And I believe that's all the trading I've done so far. You know what, here, I'll trade my Pikachu. I'm sure somebody would like a Pikachu. Because Pikachu isn't always the most common Pokemon. Uh, Ash actually has a shiny knocked out. X and Y wonder trading him with something else. Well, like, did they just have a lot of... Oh, we're going to California. Oh, boy. I'm scared of whatever we're going to catch. I'm fucking horrified. We got a few Togekiss, too. Gengar and Alakazam. Munchlax. Hella rare. Just general good stuff. A fucking Starly. Okay, bullshit. I traded you a Pikachu and you gave me a Starly. How is that fair? Sir. Yeah, what an asshole. I gave you a Pik I gave you a cute female Pikachu. You gave me a random ass Starly. I don't even like the regional birds that much, if I'm honest. If it's not too canon, I don't care. How late you staying up, Dylan? I get the Starly out of here. What time do I work tomorrow? Actually, tomorrow. Actually, I need to make sure I wake up on time. Make, make let me let me check my work time. I want to make sure I don't screw myself over. Uh, but yeah, I've always heard about people trading stuff on Wonder Trade and getting absolutely crazy ass Pokemon before. Like I'm talking just constant shiny legendaries. But like you said, they could very well be hacked or whatever. So there's no telling, you know, if you'd actually want the bitch or not, because it could be something fucking awful to get, or something amazing. You never really know. I traded a Starly for a Starly, goddammit. You know, you could at least try to trade something of mild interest, alright? Not a Starly. I do not appreciate you trading a Starly. You know what? I hope you're happy you got a Starly. No. I, I hope whoever traded me a Starly gets, like, the worst Pokemon imaginable. I hope he gets the fucking shiny level 100 fucking Magikarp, alright? Some bullshit. Whew. 
Oh, they'll say all right, maybe. Something, possibly. As long as it's not a Starly, I'll be happy. Jesus, it's a fucking Toxicroak. All right. Well, we're gonna head a little further into the game. That's a uh, Tsukachi. Tsukachi, I believe that's is the name. Its knuckle claws secrete a toxin so vile that even a scratch could prove fatal. Could you imagine seeing something like that in the wild? Well, that's the thing about trading at point sixty nine and point four twenty. It won't actually let me choose. It picks it for me. That's the problem. So it's not like a direct, I pick the specific spot. It's that I can try to pick a spot. And if, it, if there's someone who happens to be trading there at the moment in time, it'll let me. But if there isn't, then it won't let me. Which usually there isn't, so. Yeah. Let's head on up here. You should see the dex entry for uh, Gorgeist. Gorgeist? I actually don't even think I know that Pokemon, if you could believe it. Yeah, I, I don't think I know that Pokemon off the top of my head. Pristine as fuck is what this is. Yeah, no. I got a story to go to. It's haunting ass snow music, bro. Genuinely horrifying. Nope, okay. Back down this way it is. God, all through the snow. I just... Seeing all the cold snow makes me cold looking at it. Usually ghost types have really scary Pokedex entries, if I'm honest. Like, 99% of the time, if you read any, read any ghost type Pokedex entry, it's usually horrifying. It's never anything pleasant. My Pokemon is still not healed? What the fuck? You just fucking died, Metacham. I want you to know that. You just fucking died. You're an asshole. Yes, no, no, I'm d I will not run. I will fucking murder them. With my level 50 fucking Corterra. Hey, you know that movie just did? That was cool. Fucking die. Nice, get your defense lowered. <clears throat> you know, I would catch it just to release it to be a dick, but thankfully I know that since Pokemon usually when they faint, it's going to get eaten alive, so I'm just going to hope that a Snover comes by and eats this Pokemon. That'll, that'll be my hope for the future, for just randomly murdering my Pokemon. Also, I could have sworn I healed my Pokemon like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, but I guess I could be wrong. Sounds about it comes knocking on a full moon, and whoever answers gets taken away and never seen again. That sounds like a fucking ghost type thing, dude. I remember when I read Litwick and Lampent, and like Yamask and all these other Pokemon. Like, what was it? Lampent, like, goes around and, uh, steals the souls of dying people in hospitals or whatever. Like, that's so fucked up. And then you have the fun part of, uh,. A mask being a wandering human soul with a mask that resembles its its uh used to be face. Like that's just genuinely horrible to think about. Like, could you imagine being a wandering Pokemon just basically stuck to look at your face and then do absolutely nothing else? It just sounds depressing. Standing guard is a very important assignment. I'll make this success and earn myself a Clefairy. We're here to make our make sure Snowpoint's gym leader doesn't disturb us. Do I need to beat the gym? You know, I might need is to beat that the, the Grim Reaper. I think I need to beat the gym. And I guess so. They mentioned the gym leader, so I'm gonna go fight the gym leader. You're gonna eat shit, Metacham. I hope you know. 
Good boy does not take prisoners. Actually, let me run, because I just want to go to the gym. Yeah. Yes, yeah, gym time? Okay. That's what I was thinking. I like, walked over here, and I was like, God damn it. I came all the way here just to go back to the gym? Okay. Alrighty, then. Do I have any Pokemon that are good versus ice? Like, I don't think I do. I'm like, I'm pretty certain I don't have anything that makes me. Oh, I already see what we're doing. It's the gym trick floor making you a little hot under the collar. If you can't maintain your cool in battle, you'll freeze up. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> it's a Pelipper? Wait, you're not a fucking ice type, you're a water type. And a flying type. And I mean, if you want to do Drizzle, that's fine. I'll just do Amnesia. Ah, you know, one ice move. There you go. Good job. Good job. Here's the cool thing. I don't care. Also, the fact that I used Amnesia means I really don't care. So. We're going to go ahead and... You know what? Just to make sure you can't do fuck all to me, I'm going to use Amnesia twice. Oz people don't understand the dangers of living in the Pokemon world. Just don't open the door on a full moon ever. Yeah, literally anything at all in the Pokemon. Oh, he's Water Pulse. What a dumbass. Thanks for the heal. But yeah, like any... There's so many Pokemon in the Pokemon world. They're so unbelievably dangerous. Like, just unreasonably dangerous. You really can't even go outside the Pokemon world. Like, that tall grass could be the end of your existence, permanently. Let's go, Bob. Let's go. Parish song? Ooh. That could be good. But... You got respect? Well, thank you, Bernadetta. That or you got respect. Like, you received it. Get rid of Screech or Night Slash. I'm thinking of getting rid of Screech. Lowering defense is integral, but Parish Song could be the same clutch that, Shriek, that Screech could be. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Screech, because the same thing that Screech would do is basically what Parish Song would do, which would be like a trying to take them out kind of thing. So even if Bob can't kill them, he can do Parish Song. Yes, 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 yes. Glad to see the real cheese. Yes. The real cheese agrees. I'm gonna go ahead and mud shot. Did you just use dig? Huh. Alright. Um, whatever, I'm gonna miss then. Ow. <laughs> Little do you realize, being a Quagsire, I don't care. I'm just gonna sit here. Like, yeah, go, go ahead. Ice beam me! Literally, I laugh in your face, you dumbass. You do literally no damage. They just don't stand a chance. Hold up, I have to check something. I apologize. Um. Okay. There we go. Oh, are you gonna let me hit you this time? Wait. Can I make him so slow that I'm faster than him now? Because if so, that's fucking hilarious. Then headbutt. Bro, don't don't make me get out my Rampardo so he can hit you with Zen headbutt. Good night, Izzy. You're gonna uh, install Jedi Survivor. Good luck, my guy. Oh, no problem. No, Screech is better for most situations. 
Oh, well, you have it. Yeah, you have a lovely night, Izzy. I hope you end up enjoying your new game. Um, Darth Maul in Fortnite. That sounds interesting. Putting Darth Maul in Fortnite. <laughs> Or Steelix. Motherfucker used bulldoze just to slow me down. Oh, I can't be slowed down because of the mist. You're right. Avoided the attack. Are we really going to do this? Also, I still don't understand how these Pokemon are used. Like, okay. Okay. You just done playing. Uh, you just got done playing more Jedi Survivor. Have, yeah, I think you were telling me you were having a really good time with it, Godly Phoenix. If I remember correctly, you were saying you were enjoying it. Which, if so, I'm glad. I'm glad that a lot of people have been enjoying the game. It's it's really sad to think that a lot of people end up playing um, new games when they come out and then not enjoying them. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that people are enjoying these games. I think I'm stuck. Right. Maybe I'm not. Weird. Um, honestly, it's an ice type. I don't think poison or uh, dark has anything to do with ice, so we'll use this. We spend all our time battling in the blizzards of Snowpoint City. We'll show you how it's toughened us up. I don't think it's toughened you up, but. It also has probably not taught you guys. You guys probably, I was gonna say, you guys probably also have no fucking idea what an ice type is. You're the only one who's thrown out an ice type so far. Everyone just has like a fucking Steelix that knows Ice Beam and has been like, it's an ice type. It's an ice type. And I'm like, no, it's not. And they just, they just keep agreeing, like, yes, it is. When it literally isn't. I'll also get wrecked by Cross Poison. Nice. I knew you could do it! Casually started my third free trial for Nintendo Online. <laughs> the game has given me moments I've won since the first game. And see, and that's awesome. That is that is what I want to hear. I'm glad to know that these, these, uh, the sequel of the game is bringing so much joy to people, you know? Kaboom! Kaboom! Are you feeling the chill of fatigue? A good trainer goes for the win, no matter what their condition is. I mean, I am going to go for the win, because I don't have to go for it. It's going to walk up to me. Literally, the win is going to walk up and then slap me in the face. Here's the thing. Dark types are weak to bug. And you're fighting a gigantic bug. I have two bugs on my team. You literally can't beat me. Gone. Don't even, I literally don't even need the stab bonus to beat you. That's how broken I am. That and ice types are not very defensive, and since I'm overleveled, not only am I faster, I also hit harder, so they literally just lose every time. It's kind of, kind of depressing. Funny enough, I don't have any, like, actual grass moves. Um, let's see here, Tentacruel? It's poison, so this would be good. Good boy would be a good play! free trial, more like just free. Lol, yeah, strangely enough, this gym leader has a Pokemon that isn't even Ice-type. Yeah, that's, like, do they just not have a lot of Ice-types in the game, or, like, what the fuck? Acid armor, what? Defense rose sharply? Well, guess what, my special defense rose sharply. We're both stalling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a special move. Get fucked. <laughs> I get healed, followed you getting fucking one shot more than likely. Nope. Close, though. So, you saw me hit you with a special move, and you happen to be faster, so you go for the defense play. And I hit you with another special move that ignores the fact that you increase your defense. How does that make you feel? 
it's kind of how I glitched your Xbox 369 to give you unlimited Xbox Live for free. How the hell did you do that? Also, if you're doing infinite free trials, wouldn't that pretty much make it to where you'd have to use a different profile every time? The little... I feel like you wouldn't really be able to, uh, what is it? Use the profile that you want. I've only been involved with Pokemon for a short time. I managed to get this far because skilled friends toughen me up. I give absolutely zero credit to yourself, I guess? Brenna, you've gotten this far with a fucking Snover, which has an awful, awful type combo. Ice and grass. I mean, I like Snover. Don't get me wrong. I do. Doesn't mean it's gonna do good, though. Like, it does. that does not mean it's gonna win. You are far from winning. You're just gonna, once again, just, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, if I did it to an Xbox, I can do it to a nuclear military-grade computer. <laughs> I mean, I, I think the Xbox might be worse, but I could be wrong. Giga Drain? Um... Funny enough, I don't think I want Giga Drain, if you could believe that. I think Curse is more fit more effective for me. Crunch is good for coverage. Earthquake just does stupidly good damage. And then Leech Seed is good for stalling and, you know, getting health back, so... Uh, yeah. Four point five percent of the in-game Pokemon are Ice type. I love my boy Snorlax on my team. Yeah, as far as I understand, Snorlax is fucking stupidly powerful. Cause Snorlax isn't Snorlax one of the tankiest Pokemon in all of Pokemon? Like, unarguably. Oh, hi. My willpower has sh was shaped and tempered by howling blizzards. I'll bring it to bear on you. Ooh, spooky. Try getting one. It's really, really, really hard. It's it, you get it from the uh, what is it? The honey trees, I believe. Did you just throw out a Quagsire in my battle arena? I know for a fact you did not. Quagsire fight! What in the fuck? Screw you, dude. I have berries for this. Quags on quags on quags and quags for days! Quags are OP, indeed. I'm gonna go and hit him. Since I'm low health already, I'm gonna hit him with Amnesia just so I can hopefully not get one shot by his next Ice Beam. Um, then I'm gonna smack him with, uh... Ooh, that was a really good decision on my part. That's a free heal. So, my educated guess is gonna be him using, um, what is it? What is it? Fuck. Him having, uh, Water Absorb. So instead... I'm going to go ahead and go for uh, Mud Shot instead of Muddy Water, so. There we fucking go. Yes! Um, yep, Honey Trees, but only three of them have it, and they are random for each playthrough. Not to mention it's a low spawn chance even then. Yeah, see, I've literally never even had a... Uh, I mean, I've been saving up berries for this reasoning, so... This is the whole reason I've been saving berries. I've actually never had a honey tree actually give me something. So, like, I don't even know exactly what to do with honey trees. 
So, like, I went to go get Pokemon from Honey Trees or whatever, but they've literally never given me anything. Like, I've legit never got anything from them, so I don't even know exactly what to do. User applies pressure to stress points, sharply boosting one of its or its allies' stats. Oh, is it fucking random? That's not very good. If it's fucking random. Yeah, if it's random like that, I don't think I want that. No. You got yours from a uh, wonder trade. Never got, never got anything either. You just got lucky. 100% lucky. <laughs> that's that's the pure luck run. What's up, nerd? Do you actually have ice-type Pokemon? It's t -t 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 cold! I can't even feel my tongue! Then why do you work at an ice gym? This is literally your job. You, you signed the resume. Signed the resume. That's, that's how you get a job. That's exactly what you do. Yep. And coming from somebody who has a job, you sign the resume, and you sign your soul away. That's what you do. Exactly what happens. Well, first things first, I'm going to laugh because I'm probably going to one-shot this float soul, a.k.a. Cross Poison. Yeah. You filled out most of your decks from trades. I feel like that's not a bad way to fill out the decks, in all honesty. I feel like that's a pretty reasonable way to fill out the decks. <clears throat> because if you wonder trade, you can get some stuff that may be, like, stupidly difficult to get. You never know. Like, the fact that I got a Charmander. And I was actually going to use that Jigglypuff being a rare Pokemon throughout the entire game. But I didn't, just because I couldn't find a Moonstone. Which, I mean, kind of looks dumb now, because I, you know... I'm on my way to getting a Rhyperior, which requires a Protector, which is, you know, far enough in the game to where I can't really do exactly how, what I wanted. Fuck. Time to slide down the slides. I need to hit that one from the left side. I think I misstepped. Whoops. I did. That's fine. You're doing it wrong. Uh, Do it right. I probably am doing it wrong. There we go. There we go. All right, all right. How do I get over there? Because to break this, I'll have to go down and then across, and I can't really do that from over there. I'd have to break those other ones, but I can't really do that. So I really don't know what to do outside of just break that and hope it works. Um. Yeah, see, like, I don't really have a way of breaking certain snowballs. I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go, that's one. All right, all right. There we go. Looking a little better. Uh... Fuck! Wait, no, that's fine. 
what do I do? So that one does hit that, but I need to get right there. But how the fuck do I get there? Wait a second. No, I can't do that. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's right here. No. Not there. Alright. Uh... Maybe it's here. Chat, I think I'm figuring it out. It's taking me forever, but I will figure out this puzzle. You got this. Use your eyes and track the paths. It may, it may have took my soul in that contract. My contract says I get to be a menace to society. I get to, I get to box the customer Friday fight nights. That's how we do it at Waffle House. I think I'm trading with somebody in a submarine. There was literally no land there. I think I found the lost Russian submarine. <laughs> Ooh, I already see what I need to do. Perfect. There we go. And that's how you win. We did it, chat. I just need to get to the beginning now. There we fucking go. All right. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and keep Melina at the front, because Melina seems like she's probably going to whoop the most ass. You want to challenge Candace? Candace, dig fit in your mouth? Oh, shit. Bro, god damn. I can't believe the gym leader would say that in a kid's game. In a kid's game. Stupid ass sounds. Fucking great. Snow warning. Careful before she, before she says yes. <laughs> Hold up. Fixing something. Okay, we did that. We're going to talk to Spikes again. Because I believe that turns it into uh, badly poisoned. I used to level 60 Nine Tails to beat her. Had only fire type moves with low chances of hitting. I mean, that sounds fine. I mean, low chances of hitting does sound annoying, but that sounds fine. There we go. So now, pretty much she's going to start every single fight with getting one shot by my Pokemon. Or getting nearly one shot, poisoned, and then dying sounds awful. I'm getting buffed by the hail, but I really don't think it matters. I think she's literally weak to... I think her whole team actually loses to Melina. Because of being a dark poison type, they have no way of gaining an advantage. Then, me having bug, dark, poison, I have the advantage versus both the Sneasel and the Snover. And I'm pretty sure one of, one of the ones she has is probably an Obama Snow. Or a Weavile, so that's just basically another one shot. This is just fucking cakewalk, man. I'm definitely gonna have to play a little bit of a harder Pokemon game next time I play more Pokemon. The fuck was that? I can't hear all of what she's saying, but that sounded fucking weird. Whatever that first thing was. I didn't hear anything else, but. Jesus. Um, I'm gonna night slash him. Hold Chat, I apologize. I'm getting asked something.
My Pokemon is a thing of beauty, Dylan. I will have you know. Uh, let me see here. Do you not believe in Pinhead? Pinhead is the G. I don't need Dirty Dan. I just have Pinhead. Pinhead's the G. Watch. Watch and weep. This Manicham is not going to win. Pinhead's going to hit him with the most brutal attack in the world. Swords Dance. Oh, you're bulking up? Yeah, that's fine. Bulk up all you want. Your attack and defense are not going to match my double attack buff. No, go right ahead. My absolute menace of a Pokemon is going to be a problem here in a second, I assure you. Oh, God. Ah! You bitch! I knew they were going to do some stupid shit like that. I hate it. I'm so mad about it. Uh, I'm in the middle of a, a boss fight. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Not off the top of my head. I, I'm, I'm too busy thinking about this. I can't think about what you're talking about. Um... Yeah, I'll just delete him with a uh, Bob. I'm Dirty Dan! This is bound to get them low health, I think. Rock Slide? Why the fuck does their Pokemon know Rock Slide? That's actually impressive that they know Rock Slide. What the fuck? You know what? Fuck you. No, you're not gonna use Rock Slide on my on Bob. Rog is gonna laugh at your Rock Slide and then fucking murder you. Look at the fact you did literally three fucking damage to me. Ice Punch? Fucking what? Okay, I'm call me crazy. Is that your fifth different move you've used? I swear to God. I'm pissed. Maybe I unfreeze and attack. What are the odds? Okay, two things. Literally not even an ice type. First off, just gonna let you know. Just gonna say that. You might not understand that. Metacham is not an ice type. Little bullshit, not gonna lie. You could at least be cre good enough at using the type at hand you you can't just be like ice type is so garbage so I'm gonna get I get to have at least one Pokemon that's not an ice type no literally nobody else in these gyms have done that shit other than you you fucking cheater all right no fuck off this is dumb as shit Um, no, I'm Dirty Dan. Hi, guys. You have a wonderful night, Bernadetta. Nah, fourth. Oh, fuck this Pokemon. Fuck off, Metacham. No one likes you. I don't think I've ever heard anyone in my life say they like Metacham. A, a bomb of snow. Nah, dude, I don't even want- I'm not even- there's no jokes with this bitch. I don't even care what she has to say. Your last resort is a Pokemon with shit stats. Or, sorry, shit typing. It's already poison. I like Metajam. Damn. <laughs> well, I will say you are the first person I've ever met that does- that does- that has said that. I've never heard anyone else say that. But I've also not asked it very much either, so. I will say it's partially my fault. Yep. Asshole. What's it? <laughs> oh, don't worry. 
Oh, don't worry, John. I, 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 I know the character's name. Here, would like someone, someone. Hey, you did it! I did. I'm not even gonna read her fucking text. This absolute cheating bitch. No, I, I, I'm well aware. Her, her, her name is uh, you know. Her name's Ligma. You know, that's a, it's a weird name for a gym leader, but it's fair. Ligma is a really weird name for a gym leader, I think. So dumb. Ah. Well, that's fine. I did want the game to be a little bit harder. And I do appreciate that it's harder. I would just like it if they went by rules that were already placed at the beginning of the game instead of just defying the, the things they've already set in motion. I mean, I get it. It's good for surprising me. But, like, I don't think I've played any Pokemon gym where they have different Pokemon than the, than the typing that they have. Like, that's... Like, what is it? With, uh... It'd be like me using a normal Charizard and then calling it a Dragon type. Like, it's not technically true. You're here to seek the lake Pokemon, too. You must be bored to fight your way through the snow to get here. I'm not bored. I'm a man on a mission. There we go. Mega evolved than it is. I'm also saying, like, if if we exclude Mega evolutions, actually, fi better one. Uh, Gyarados. Actually, actually, doesn't Gyarados turn into a dragon as well? I can't remember. Ah, you're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could... <laughs> you honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But, ew. It's so cold here. Let's go back to Veilstone HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. From GamePur.com, the best way to find the Protector is on Route 228. You can find it right after the beginning of the path. It will be on the side that you can find next to the entrance with a slope that you can go up with your bicycle. Make sure to take your bike out to go back up the hill after you've retrieved it. Nope. Water flying. Flying. Fun fact, you can shine your badges to make them all sparkly and shiny. But I would still say it's fine because it's draconish and has dragon moves. Can I get an explanation on the Pelipper and Metacham? Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything. It's Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Uxi. It was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. You better fucking really step up your game, bro. Um, I wanted to join Team Collect, but they wouldn't let me, so now I'm going to destroy them because they wouldn't let me scheme with them. They left me out of their schemes, so I will destroy them. 228, you said? That is way the fuck up here. How the hell do you even go over there? I guess I'll find my way eventually. The logic was that Metacham knew an ice move. If that, okay. If that is the genuine reason, I hate that. I hate that so much. How do I shine the badges? How do I shine them? <laughs> I 
<laughs> yep. I will... I will tap the screen. Indeed. Indeed. It's not working. It's not working! I don't understand. Alright. Um, have I healed up my Pokemon yet? I think I did, right? Yeah, I did. Um, yo, the badges are dirty. My badges are hella dirty. I've literally not cleaned them since I've gotten them. Mm, you gonna let me in? I'm so lost. Okay. Do none of you have a key? Alright then. Uh, maybe he has a key. There! Would you look at those an antennae? I didn't know what they do. I don't know what they do, but they are some mighty impressive antennae! Hey, it's you! I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you! Because of you, they took my Clefairy away! My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about my any storage key. Oh! Nice! For whatever reason, he was standing on right, right on top of the storage key. If the professor saw those badges, he would be in your eat. He would be in your ass. <laughs> he would be in my ass if he saw my badges. Goddamn. Shit. I mean. I mean, depending on what the professor looks like, maybe that's what I want, okay? Maybe I'll leave them dirty. Would you like help here? I could get Trade Your Protector if you wanted an early Rhyperior. No, nah, it's all good. I'll get him as he comes. Storage key. What would you use the storage key? They have like a storage unit over here or something like that. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's right here. Is it this? This like there we go. This looks better. Actually, wait. Can't I use rock climb now? Yep. I'm actually missing a lot of the moves. Yeah, I'm missing most of them. Or, I'm missing most of them. Missing two of them. Yep, I would like to use the storage key. Whoa, 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 hold it there. Do you have the key? I don't know if you do or not, but a storage key is safe with our guard in front of the HQ. That's not what this is about. Bruh. Man gave that shit away immediately. Yeah, you're missing. You're, you're just missing defog. Yeah, the foggy area. I literally walked through it blind. If you're curious, that was uh, a fun time. Oh, have you here? A trainer who's lost their way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do 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 do. Golbat, I hope you know. You've already been forsaken. Unless you have Ice Fang, you're about to die. You did the same in both your playthroughs. <laughs> Is Defog like really annoying to get to or something? That is not very effective. Nope, didn't think so. Poison Fang, don't you know that still does no damage? It's gonna poison me. Oh my god, why? Why is it always land? Why does the poison always work again? What a fucking root bastard. Not annoying, just missable. Okay. I want to make sure, because there's sometimes things can be fucking mad annoying to get to. 
And that can kind of make it to where you don't really want to use those things. A Team Galactic Grunt has been defeated. When it, uh, when it gets close to 11, I'll probably play some Monster Hunter, since uh, I've not played Monster Hunter in a really, really long time. And I think that'd be really fun to stream. Let's use Pinhead. I've not used Pinhead in a while. Team Galactic Grunt. Dust Ox. Oh boy. Oh boy. The hottest milk presser is Death the Alolan Professor. Any objections? Let me look. Let me look. I gotta remember. I, I, I can't remember. Let's see here. Let me look up the Alolan Professor. Yeah, I better switch. Let me... The steel psychic type, so... Melina would be... Oh, well, Bob can do it. Yeah, Bob's got this. He's got Night Slash. Alolan Professor. Okay. Alolan, Alolan Professor is pretty hot. I'll give it to you. Absolutely. There's always Oak! Hell nah, Defog is in Pistoria City's Great Marsh Safari Zone, right at the entrance where you speak to someone. That is definitely very missable, actually. Good night, Bronzer! Oh, sure. Why don't you just get all cocky about it? That's right, I destroyed you. You have zero chance, zero bitches, zero will to live, and you should leave. Got him. You know, chat, with all these vents around, I'm starting to think there's some galactic grunts among us. Whitney is the worst gym leader. Worst gym leader is Brock. Worst in what context? Yeah, I was about to say, I need some context to what what we mean by worst, because I have no idea what we mean. Level the Charmander a small bit and just kill him. What? Why? I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of grunts. It's my fault, though. I still don't know how to warp panels connect. Literally killed by a part time. Oh, oh, okay, okay. My bad. My bad. I that right over. <laughs> right over my head. Literally went right over my head. The real cheese is obviously more real than me, because I I completely misunderstood everything of what we were talking about. Fucking lame ass lame meow. Doesn't like Rampardos have extremely high attack stat? Am I faster? I am faster! I'm better! Got him. Sorry, correction. Destroyed by a fire type. <laughs> correction! Fainted by a fire type. Tough little trainer is what you are. Yeah, you people stand no chance. You all have like one Pokemon. You all have literally negative chance to beat me. The edgy gamer is on the scene. No one's stopping me. I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander. 
I'll impress our great boss by making you my newest trophy. Let him dream. Keep in mind, it's supposed to be the other other way around. Eevee. I got an Eevee! So nice! What are you going to evolve the Eevee into? Why does he have a level 30 worm pull? That bitch leveled up to its second evolution like 40 levels ago. What the fuck? So confused. You know what? Rare, random question. What are some photos I have? Let's see here. Did I get any pictures of it? Yeah. Level 32 worm pull. This man's face says it all. He has no idea what the fuck he's doing. Oh, it's Devin. Oh, yeah, and then all the pictures and stuff. Anything else good in here? Nope, nothing else good in here. I want to see if I had anything funny in here, but I do not. I've got some spoilers. Oh, this takes me back. I, I used to love this when I was a child. I mean, no. So, I don't have any good pictures. Damn. I thought I had some funny pictures here and there. Outside of spoilers or important story moments... I don't have any funny pictures. Big sad. Ooh, a Pokemon getting experience points? Oh, let's go, Bob. Fuck yeah. Cascoon. Just have... Why? Whatever, I'm just gonna rock to him and then move on with my life. What does it matter? It's gonna be easy as W ever. Um, the name EB like EB says its name. Well, honestly, Eevee is a pretty cool Pokemon to get. I actually don't even know how you get an Eevee in this game. They're f they're funny, if by funny you mean random. So, like, okay, well, here, here, here. I go here. Like, okay, some of them are things I took for usefulness, and a lot of other ones I took on accident. Like, this is accident. This is accident, so, you know, these shouldn't be here. These should all not be here. Very much so. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of these other ones in battle are also random as fuck. Because I just accidentally clicked on it. Let's see. Is there anything in here? See, like, a lot of these I don't even remember. See, so yeah, like, see, I really have no idea what most of these are for. See, I have to, oh, you know what? I know what that one's for. That one's for the character saying it will be greatness. See, that's, that one I understand. See, a lot of these things have no context, so they, like, they're not nearly as funny. And now they're just fucking confusing. God damn it. Hey now, RHQ is a state-of-the-art facility! A snot-nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Man, it's kind of getting rude, if I'm honest. Man looks malnourished. Oh my god, has this man eaten in his life? Did you really throw out a cadaver to fight me? I hope you know how truly fucked you really are. Literally fucking immune to your damage. I'm just gonna throw out Melina real quick. You say psychic type, I say dark type. I don't know why so many faces of women on there. Hmm. It's because I play a lot of Fire Emblem, aka Waifu Simulator. All right, you stay mad. Oh. 
Welcome home. Kadabra? Why do you have two Kadabras? Wait, doesn't he have three Pokemon? Does he just have three Kadabras? You could at least have an Abra, a Kadabra, and an Alakazam. I don't know. I feel like this is the most cakewalk fucking fights right now. I could literally just go to sleep while fighting these guys. Good job, Pinhead. Hit level 50. You and your Pokemon weren't part of my calculations! I'll leave it like that. Back down we go! As I literally just get lost in the sauce continuously. Sludge Bomb, I don't remember exactly how good that is. Oh, the Galactic Key! Nice! Oh, we got a shortcut! Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon in all nature. <laughs> Team Galactic will then own it all. I really gotta pee. Yeah, but the Galactic bosses are a bit more of a challenge. I actually will say the Galactic bosses are quite a challenge. Um, that I, I have been told that a lot of the newer Pokemon games are a lot easier. Because uh, the last time I played Pokemon seriously was uh, Black and White 2. And I don't know how difficult those games were. How difficult are Pokemon Black, Black and White 2? Those were like the last games I played like a lot of. Sent out Stunky! That's a scary ass roar. Fucking sock is all rolled up. There we go. Oh yeah, you're a dark type for some fucking reason. I don't know, did, you, did anybody in chat ever play Pokemon Black and White 2? Or am I, am I just sitting alone fucking confused? I could be. Devin, the toilet water gets the fresh hair off your face a lot better. They're having a house argument, don't worry about it. I just decided to put my two cents in. Galactic Grunt, you are failing at your job. You need to try harder. Locked doors only open with a special key! You know, I do like this music though. Regardless of how easy the area has been, I do like the music. I smell an intruder! That's creepy. We only played Sword and Shield and Scarlet, and those had some average level curves. Okay, so you, Oh, so Ed and I's gave me... You, you played a lot more than more modern Pokemon. Have you thought about playing any of the older Pokemon? Or do you, do you just really prefer the newer Pokemon generation? Ah, uh, well, the steel type is not going to last very long. Extra sensory. I'm actually going to look something up here real quick. What the fuck did I just hear? Oh, he's a psychic type too. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that slight fact. But newer is still really fun. Older games are cooler, but the newer ones are still really fun. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've played the older and some of the newer, and I honestly have enjoyed both of the ones I've played so far. I 
good is that move? That's the move that it uses inside of Pokemon Conquest is Rock Wrecker. I don't know. Whatever. Fucking poison. Oh my god. Stunky? Actually, I will totally stay on the field. Stunky is a poison ground type versus a poison dark type versus a... Fighting type is strong. Does poison resist fighting? Is that a thing? I played lots of red, yellow, and fire, red, leaf, green as a kid. You could also play Gen 2 and 3 as a kid. Something about the nostalgia of the old games, I can't get over it. Yeah. I think the nostalgia of the older games go a long way. They're all pretty damn good. Um, like I said, the one I always think of is Gen 3. That's the one that I spent the most time with a lot of the time. That's like, that's that's kind of edgy gamer's game he played a lot as a kid. Dazzling Gleam. That's a fairy type move, is it not? I think so. Ice. Avalanche can be learned. Really? Rock polish, recycle. Payback can be pretty good. I already know a lot of dark moves. Shadow Claw. I can teach Shadow Claw to fish. What the fuck? Why? Weird bug buzz. Drain Punch. No one can do Drain Punch or Brine or Roost or Steel Wing. Bolt Switch. Aerial Ace. Sludge Bomb. Not bad. Heard that's pretty damn good. I might give that to good boy, low key. Flamethrower? That's a special move, I don't really want that. At least not for Pinhead. Dig could be good for like a ground type move. Mm, low sweep, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, no one can learn that. Haunt, Sunny Day. I would say Sunny Day is good for uh, fire types, Bullet Seed, Hail. That would be fucking pointless for my team. Calm Mind, Water Pulse, Ocus Punch. Ah, uh, but see, I have to literally stand still for one turn and not get interrupted. I have to call their bluff. And I don't know how often I'm going to be able to call their bluff so effortlessly, you know? Uh... Can't forget about Pokemon Poop Brown, Pea Yellow, and Pokemon Uranium. Leveo? I haven't played Diamond before this. Brilliant Diamond was the main reason I made the decision. I got a Switch since I enjoyed how Sword and Shield looked, and I wanted to play that too. Real games. <laughs> In parentheses. I played Gym 1 like 10 times at least by now. Huh. Hold well, on, what if I go back this way and then through the other portal? Where does the other portal go? Does the other portal go to the green spot and then send me back to the beginning? If it does, I'm going to use that. I'm probably very shortly gonna use the bathroom because I really gotta go. Scald. Oh, may burn the target as well. That's not a bad move. I've been low-key trying to think about using uh, the mist, uh, getting rid of the mist ability. It's like, that just doesn't seem too useful for like what I'm trying to do. So I've been thinking about getting rid of it. I'm not sure yet. Pokemon Uranium is actually pretty good. Not a game made by Pokemon, but it's still really good. I've heard Pokemon Uranium is really good. They had like a new type called Radioactive type or something like that. And I kept hearing about how good it actually was. What's uh, Pokemon Uranium about?
I guess that I've heard about it, but I've only heard a certain amount about it. And... Back down here we go. Oh. Where's this go? This just puts me in a circle, does it not? like fairly certain this is just a circle. Like, I'm really certain this is just a circle. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm losing my damn mind. No, it is a circle. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use the bathroom before I lose my mind. I'll be right back, chat. We're gonna have a two minute ad break. I will be back. I apologize for everyone here, but I, I will I'll be back shortly.
Okay, let's go ahead and finish up this area so I can uh, go... Um, yeah, finish up this area so I can go stream Monster Hunter with Dylan. Let's see here. Um, I actually don't know quite what else we need to do. If it needs me to go through a whole other area, then I'll probably just go ahead and hop on uh, Monster Hunter. But if it doesn't have me do a whole other area, then I will definitely finish this. Um, Pokemon Uranium. Oh, I know only a little bit, but I know a nuclear reactor exploded on your, uh, journey to learn more about it, you remember correctly. I would sell my soul for infinite bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> infinite bacon, egg, and cheese? I mean, bacon, eggs, and cheese are pretty fucking good, so. I mean, that's mildly understandable. But I, I don't, I don't think I would sell my soul for as good as it is, I don't know if I'd sell my soul. I would, I would have to go with probably not. Okay, let's see. There's a whole nother dungeon, or are we almost there? Oh no, this is a whole nother dungeon. Okay, yeah, we'll... We'll wait on it, we'll wait on it. Let me go. Uh, let me go heal up, and then I'll make that'll be the end of the stream. Because I, I told Dylan we would play some Monster Hunter tonight, and it is about the time where I would go to play. Um, so let me heal up, and it might be uh, it's short. You're you're almost near the end. Is it? Because it had like a bunch of teleporters available. Like I'm talking, it looked like a good five different rooms it could be in. <laughs> Let's go see. And let's hop in here. What's hiding from us? What'd be, who'd be good for double battles? Probably you. And... Ah, uh, so it's not gonna be a double battle. I was hoping too much for a fun battle. Instead, we got fucking singles. God damn it. Oh well. I've, I'll always prefer double battles, even though they're very not present. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Beach. Beach is going to hit you with a uh, smackdown, and then you're going to have to live with the consequences. Yeah, good fucking job on that air cutter. I did all of three damage. And it was a critical hit while doing all of three damage. Oh, you hate to see it. How did you avoid Screech? Did you fucking cover your ears? What did you do? I don't understand. Most of those are dead into an item. Okay. That makes sense, then. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Gold bat. I'll switch to Pinhead so I get more money. You got it, Pinhead. Go out there. Get the W. Mold breaker. I'm about to break the mold and your face. Back up. Boop. You're done. Um, those are tasty. So, bacon and egg is something I have had quite a lot. I just, I just don't like cheese. I wish I liked cheese, because there's so much food that uses cheese. And I just don't like it. I wish I did, though. To 
be tired out by now. I should be, but I ran by the Pokemon Center. I don't know, what is what is Chad's thoughts on cheese? I've never eaten really any cheese. Like, I'd probably be upset if I was lactose intolerant because there's all the stuff that's milky that I drink. But I just can't get with the cheese. I don't know why. I've never been able to. I like this color, so I make sure to eat as much dairy as possible and work. <laughs> Literally constant dairy. And see, that's the thing. I've met people that are lactose intolerant. They eat cheese like crazy. Fucking crazy. Like, I never really know what's, uh, what to think about it. If you were lactose intolerant, you'd be just like the rest of us. We take it as a challenge. Nice. Oh, I like cheese. I'm not in love with cheese. I had a chili cheese fries for dinner today. Oh, nice, nice. I had uh, earlier today. I had a peanut butter granola bar, a burger, and uh, I think that's it for today. Maybe. Yeah, I think that might have been all I've had today. Possibly. Possibly. I can't remember. Edge Gamer forcing innocent creatures to fight for him. Hate to see it. XD. Uh, yeah. It's wholesome. Alright. It's wholesome making m m animals fight each other to death. Alright. It's wholesome. I swear. You're just choosing to look at it in bad lighting. Ugh. I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. All right, bro. And rice with steak, chicken, and shrimp. See, I, I didn't eat too much today because yesterday I had, uh, what is it? Yesterday I had a turkey sandwich, a shit ton of chips, and then I had a big plate of fucking spaghetti and then a ton of breadsticks and a dessert and a muffin. So, like, I had an unbelievable amount of food. Yeah, rice, steak, chicken, and shrimp? That sounds fucking amazing. That genuinely sounds like something I'd have at a fucking hibachi grill. It sounds so good. I'll see what's my man's stats looking like. Attack is way higher than the special attack. Speed is kind of lacking. I need him to have more HP, though. He really doesn't need speed. I don't particularly care if Torterra goes first. Now you were at a Hibachi Girl? That would, that would be why. That, that kind of explains it. Mayo, I can just hop in the bed and rest. That's kind of cheating. I really don't eat much, like, one meal a day. Yeah, see, like, I don't really eat a whole lot either. I just don't do a whole lot of eating of food. It's not, it's not a big food person, you know? Uh-oh. Team Galactic grunts. What are we going to do? Stunky and Krogunk. Oh, boy. Here's the thing, though. Bruh, he's gonna go first and wipe the fucking whole field of people. Oh my god, you're insane. Ready, you can do it as he killed everybody. Missed, just to make it extra better. Um, you got fat and then decided to get skinny. I got burnt out on eating, if that makes sense. I couldn't help it when I was hitting puberty five times a month, basically. Yeah, if you were... Like, I will say that. 
if you, uh, I can definitely understand getting burnt out on eating, because, like, eating isn't really something I look forward to that much. It's more or less just something that's there. It's something I have to do. Like, it's enjoyable, but it's by far and away not the number one thing I look forward to. Like, for sure, for sure. Nice. Sent out Stunky. Oh boy. I'll just say whoever hits him first, because uh he's gone. Man, not very effective. Are you sure? Because it nearly instant killed you. I went to a breakfast buffet on Sunday. I ate too much. Last thing I had was an ice cream, so I upchucked chocolate and sprinkles came out of my nose. I will admit sometimes I will bite into something and just pause because it's that good, but not very often. Yeah. And see, I understand that. I See, I also don't really get super hungry and eat a ton of food either because I eat really slow. Like, I don't particularly eat very fast. And I never really have. I've always eaten really, really slow. Which they say is better for your digestion anyways. So that's always good to have. Good to know and good to have. Okay, now let's go over here and make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Oh boy. Come on, give me the items. Give me the items. Jesus, alright. Just an empty corridor, I guess. Ooh, a max revive. That'll be clutch whenever I fight Cynthia and she one-shots me with her fucking beefed up Pokemon. Her fucking Milotic, Milotic and her, uh... Oh my god, what was it called? The, uh... The Land Shark Pokemon. Garchomp. There we go. Um, I snack every now and then. It's the far left portal. And when I when I go some places like uh, Tejas de Brazil on a holiday, I eat a lot. Yeah, I I don't know. I still just I just never have eaten a lot of food. But my family eats a shit ton of food though in general. They they like food a lot. Nope, there's no item. If, if I even spelled that, said that right. Tejas de Brazil. Tejas de Brazil. Ah, uh, so I am at the end right here. Perfect. We're going to beat him and then save an end. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and check this last portal in case there's an item. And if there isn't, then we'll head on to the boss fight. was an item. I'll just elixir. Never mind. That's whatever. Elixirs aren't all that important. When you go to Tejas de Brazil, I get too full. I already have like four steaks eaten before 20 minutes. See, I would eat steaks and stuff. I, I know that like a lot of Hispanic food though, is not too much of something I'll eat. Like I like food from other countries, but I'm so picky that I usually just have food that's more Americanized. Just cooked in an, uh, cooked in a more different way go along with whatever country the restaurant is kind of based after, you know? I see you! Or, sorry, I see! You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'm hardly expected to see that trainer as a mere child. I'd heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I got a little bit of a headache coming on. Let me turn that down. My camera get turned a little bit. There we go. Five pounds of shrimps with some pineapple cheese bites. It's really just a fancy restaurant that's unlimited steak with a buffet with fancy cheese and such. 
I know why you're here, and I can sense it in you. It's about Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them! If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you. Do they not? But still you come to rescue them out of pity? Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You are compelled to come here by such vacuous sen sentimentality. I'll make you regret paying heed to your heart. Da na na na. Three Pokemon? Really? Really? Three? And it's a fucking Murkrow. That's hilariously sad. Wow. Fucking wow. My sun capacity isn't like it was when I was younger. Yeah, mine definitely is not either, Adonize. I 100% agree. If I can I eat, eat stuff like I used to. Nightshade. You're gonna use taunt? The funny thing is, is I'm literally about to attack you, so I'm not even concerned. Oh boy. The unknown when they are multiple together are basically just Dragon Balls. When there's just 500 unknown equals 7 Dragon Balls. You're absolutely right. I I concur. Pone Claws. So what if I one-shot you with this? That's all I'm saying. Your unupgraded Sneasel, your unupgraded Murkrow, and my fully upgraded Bob. Yeah, so you better hope you one-shot me. You... Is it an Orinberry? Did you heal five health? Oh, nice! You healed just enough health for you to still be fucking one-shot by my attack. You dumbass. Metal Claw? What the fuck? Why? The hell is that gonna do? Yeah, good job. I summon forth thy unknown dragon! Unknown... Unknown come out... Well, no, it's worse. Umno unknown, come out my balls. <laughs> Devin, did you want me to finish? Because that's what the finish statement was. No? What proof do you have? Hmm? I have no idea, to be honest with you. My honest answer is I have no idea. Yeah, but I don't know it's considered fucking early. What would you consider early? Five hours? No, 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 you, you want to talk about this shit, you better actually give me a real answer now. I'm waiting, Devin. Waiting. Am I 19 minutes tall? Why is it wanting him to learn Screech? Cyrus, this was depressing. Interesting and quite curious. You literally threw three unevolved Pokemon at me. The base of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I hate to 
That's why I've abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Battle after this is the real boss. Cyrus is weak as F. He fucking is. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct. Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak. And then put an end to everything. No. I'll bring about a new beginning for everything. You got a War Turtle? Nice! I'm glad you're able to get a War Turtle. A War Turtle. It's a War Turtle. It's a War Turtle, Devin. Yep. So you said this is the real final boss? I fucking hope so, because this fucking... I can't say anything in our defense, but that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uxie is sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. That's a Zelf? A Zelf is sealed inside. It, oh, it actually says something different. With rackling shutters. Well, I, th I thought it said the same thing again. Mesper is sealed inside. It seems to be suffering with his tails twitching. You. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come let me welcome you. Consider it payback for you for your insulting me at the lake. Come on, girl. You gotta do better than your bo- I keep forgetting it's a dude. It's a dude! I keep forgetting it's a dude! <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting it's a dude. So, the funny thing is, is I don't remember what it is. There's a certain game I've played where the character, she has horned hair like that. So every time I see this dude, I keep thinking it's a girl. And it's every single time. Why would you have a psychic type use rain dance inside of a building? Do any of you know what the fuck's going on? You're not even using a fucking water type. And I have a grass type out. Even if you did use a water type move, it would do fuck all. I'm so mad. I'm so, <laughs> so fucking mad. Ca casually have a war turtle in the wrong game. Lol. I thought it was a girl, lol. <laughs> Everybody in chat? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit! With the chibi art style, it's hard to tell. Oh my god, the quick claw. Get wrecked. I knew you could do it! Good job. Nope, keeping him out. I'm about to sweep his whole team with my tank. Low key, still kind of thick though. I mean, maybe. He definitely ain't fashionable, that's for damn sure. Seat, not leech seat crunch. Die to my captain crunch. Okay. His hair is not it, I'll be honest with you. 
Like, I appreciate that he looks absolutely insane, but his hair is not in it. It's super effective. I knew you could do it, Drog! You land tortoise! Toxicroak. You literally threw out three Pokemon that are weak to things for the singular Pokemon I have. Man, this is gonna fucking hurt. This sucks, bro. Oh, you're gonna Toxic stall me? Man. Let's see how good that's gonna work. Yeah, really. What if I don't care? Yup. Yup. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. You're a tough kid, but I still pity the likes of you. Pity the likes of me? You could at least catch three other Pokemon. You only you only have three. Gah! What makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Why would you just tell me? Uh, yes, I want to set the Pokemon free. And th they just fucking teleport. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. The red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. So, for Dylan and Devin... Um... Yeah. Dude is going for the blue cat ears look. <laughs> nice. Wait, hold up. I hope this person happy trades level 4 Starly for a level 61 dog. Dude was, um, let me tell you something, OP. A Pokemon with an ability that makes them unable to miss a one-hit KO move. That does sound a little busted. You're physically incapable of not landing the one-hit KO move? What the fuck? Wait, that just seems a little busted. That seems unbelievably unfair. Yeah, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center real quick and then make our way to all the places we need to go next time. But yeah, well, I'm probably going to hop on, uh, what is it? Hop on Monster here, Monster Hunter here in a moment. And, uh, yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you again. I like I could also... Not like I could solo him with it. It only has five uses. Sounds good. I'm getting drowsy. Well, for you guys staying in here and hanging out with me, I want to say thank you so much for being in here. And thank you for supporting me on all three of my really weird different streams today. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. And as always... Whew, hmm. Later, losers! Have a good night. You traded the level 4 Starly for a level 3 Starly. <laughs> Thank you for playing some fun to watch. Well, that makes me really happy to hear. You guys make it way more fun than it already would be. So I appreciate you guys just as much.